raise. What is it? How does it work? And can you actually make any money with it? Well, stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll know the answer to them questions. Raise is a micro investing app that allows you to invest in the share market with as little as $5. You can do this a number of ways. You can do it with regular occurring deposits, which can be set up weekly or monthly or fortnightly, or you can do it with once off investments where you could choose to put in $5, $10, $20, $100, $100 whatever amount that you'd like. But what's more importantly on raises, is you can do what you call roundups. Now, as you can see on the app, we have a section here that's called roundups. Now, how that works is every time I spend an amount, as we can see, our top one, McDonald's, must have gone there recently. At no, I link it with my bank account, so it knows the transactions I make, and I can choose to do what they call round up. So I spent $12.90 at McDonald's, and it rounded up to the nearest dollar, which would be $13. So it actually put 10 cents into my roundup account. Now it does this and it adds it up and each time it reaches, I've got mine set to $5. So it adds up all these micro transactions, you know, 10 cents here, 20 cents there, 40 cents here. Once it hits a $5, it adds into my account and away I go, it gets added into my whole account. Whereas normally, uh, you wouldn't be able to get into the share market for $5. It actually costs you normally a minimum of $500 if you were to do it through your bank or broker. Now, on top of that, it actually costs you about $15 in brokerage fees. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, but roughly about $15. So the great thing about the Raise app is there is no brokerage fee. There is a monthly fee to have the app, and that's uh, $2.50. But I'll go into that a little bit later on and explain why I think that's still really worth it and you can benefit from this app greatly. So when you first set up the app, you actually link it to your bank account. Now that's how it's able to do the, de uh, the deposits into the app from your bank. It's also how it can watch your transactions for the roundups. Now with the roundups as well, that's optional. You don't need to have that turned on. You could have that switched off and then just add money yourself when it uh, suits you. So it's not a, um, not a mandatory thing that you have to have that on. I have it on because I like it. I don't miss a couple of dollars here and there and it all seems to add up. Now, if we actually go into, I believe, the roundups, yeah, as you can see, now, these are all the ones that have been uh, added to my account in the past. So, I put a, you know, it watches the transactions, basically, adds, adds it in. Now, see these ones for a dollar? Normally they don't do that. I've, I've just added that in myself. Normally it just rounds up to the nearest dollar. So the one here for 15 cents, the one here for 80 cents. Now, as you can see, my account is currently sitting at 45 cents more until it reaches the $5 minimum roundup fit amount. So each time it hits the $5, it'll go in, into my raise account. Now, you wouldn't think that really adds up, but since I've had this app, which is now a couple of years, just alone on the raise uh, roundups, which um, I've just had switched on automatically, I've had $1,379 added into my account from this feature, which is pretty good since it was money that I never missed, I didn't really notice. Now, and that's just the roundups. That's not any reoccurring weekly deposits that I have set up. It's not any um, one-off amounts that I like to put into the app every now and then as well. So, and the second part of putting money into this app, which I was talking about earlier, is the reoccurring um, payments into the app. I've got mine set, as you can see, for $20 a week. So basically every Tuesday, it takes $20 from my account, my bank account, and adds it into the app itself, which is good. $20 is not a you know whole 
whole lot that I miss I don't really notice and you can put that to any amount you could put it five dollars put it ten dollars put it two hundred dollars whatever really suits you and you can turn that off at any time as well it doesn't that's another optional thing it doesn't have to be turned on so and if you go into there and you ever want to change it there you go you can change your, your frequency to daily weekly fortnightly monthly which day it starts so it's really customizable to suit what for the individual person basically now if you're wanting to do a once off deposit you just click on the deposit section up top and you can like it says put a minimum of five dollars in or whichever amount basically you want it'll uh, take that from your bank account and then put it into your app now keep in mind as well, it doesn't show up straight away, like instantly, because when you buy into uh, or put money into the app, you're actually purchasing a number of things. It's um, shares, it's um, bonds, it's in investment account. So it's a little bit like an ETF, so traded, um, electronic traded fund. So they invest into different things and basically that's how you get a return on your money. So it's not investing just to one company or one group of shares. It's invested into a few different things. Now, if you're wanting to withdraw the money, you just click on the withdraw amount, same, whichever's of whatever's available in your account, you can withdraw. It does take again another day or two normally because it has to sell them shares and, and so on until it reaches your bank account. I normally kind of get it up to, you know, a thousand or so dollars and then I withdraw it and kind of start again. I probably should keep it in there a little bit longer, but it's normally a good time, you know, when it's Christmas time, I normally use it. So it pays for a lot of, you know, holidays or um, kids' Christmas presents. So it's handy for them type of things. And then another great thing about uh, raise is there actually isn't any fees to deposit money into the app and more importantly there isn't any fees when you withdraw it as well so whatever you deposit whatever you withdraw all goes into the the app or back into your bank account now like i was saying earlier your investment is mixed into a few different things uh, shares bonds um, investment accounts like set high high rate savings accounts and when you set up the app you can choose what kind of portfolio they call it suits you and which one you want to be invested in as you can see on mine i'm in the moderately aggressive portfolio so you can actually go in there and it shows you where your investment is so 40 there we go i'll just jump out of that 44 percent of my portfolio is invested into australian australian large cap stocks so you know basically there'll be a number of different companies that's invested but see here's some of the ones that they they show you know bhb commonwealth bank telstra west farmers woolworths westpac and there's and there'll be a few other ones but they're just the feature ones now there's 14 percent in asian large cap, cap stocks so samsung um AIA, Taiwan Semi Semiconductor Manufacturing. I don't know some of these, but that's what it's in. Now, Australian government bonds, 3%. Not sure if it will actually show you, but it goes into it, gives you a little bit more information there. So that's what it says, like this is an ETF, which I was talking about earlier, so electronic traded fund. Uh, European large cap stock, 6%. So Nestle, HSBC, BP, uh, US large caps stocks, 8%. Apple, Exxon, Google, Microsoft, GE, so. And the Australian money market, 3%. So that's another e ETF by the looks of that one, so. Now, like I said, you can pick which one you want. This is the moderately aggressive, they say. You can start off with conservative and then it you know, changes that mix basically. It's still the same type of um, investments, but it changes the percentage each one's kind of in each 
uh, different portfolio. So it starts off as conservative, moderately conservative, moderate, moderately aggressive, and the highest one is aggressive. I'm in moderately aggressive and I'm, I've seemed to have good returns and, and no issues there, but basically you pick which one would suit you. Now there is a sixth one, it's called the Emerald. Now that one's um, one that's meant to be being like financially um, responsible companies, you know, green companies that don't do a lot of pollution or waste and recycling. So that's a, a kind of separate one. That's more for someone who wants to be a little bit more socially responsible if that's what you're looking for. Now, okay, so a good way to get an idea of exactly your returns, how much you've put into the account and everything like that, is I normally click on up here, the past. Now that shows me, it shows me a few things. It shows me that in my current balance, which is about $210, I think, $173 of it, I put in, um, there's some reinvested dividends because you're owning parts of shares. You actually do get dividends every now and then. So there's been $10 worth of dividends, $18.90 of market returns. So that's like when you buy into you know a, a certain share because you do own shares in this, it's all split up. That share might be worth a dollar, that goes up to $1.20. So you get a little percentage of that gain too. Raise rewards. Now that's another one we'll go into, which is like a reward program. It's actually quite good. I've only just recently started using it over the last month or so. Um, referrals, there's been $7.50 of that. Now they do have um, a referral program, which is good. And I'll leave a link in the video below because if you actually use that link, you get a free $5 that they put into your account when you first sign up, if you use that link. You'll get $5, I get $5, so we'll both be happy. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't say no to $5. So if you're looking at using the app, definitely use that link below. I'll leave that in the description. And um, as well, it shows you what's been withdrawn. So since I've had this app, I've withdrawn $5,416, which uh, I didn't really realize it was that much. So that just shows you how quick it kind of adds up. And I've only had the app a couple of years, so you know, roughly um, about, you know, a bit over two and a half thousand dollars a year that's been invested. And it's never any money I've really missed. I don't do a lot of large um, amounts into it. It's always just small amounts, regular amounts. So I really don't miss and it all adds up over time. Now, finally, I want to go into the Raise Rewards program, which is really good. And like I said, I've only just started using it this month basically in the last month so far i've got eleven dollars and six cents for it now basically if you click on it it shows you the different um companies that raise actually partners with to get rewards so you think of it a little bit like flybys or like a rewards card type thing so if you go on here you can actually have a little look and there's all different ones you know added us there if you uh shop with added us through that link it'll actually invest 5.6% of your purchase amount. So, yeah, up until December 31st, 2025, which basically means, you know, 5.6% doesn't sound like a lot, but if you spend $100, that's $5.60 for, for nothing. You might have been looking at spending that already, and that's a way to add a little lecture into your raise. Um, you know, there's a whole heap of companies. I won't go to them all, but there's lots and lots on here. Now I'll point out BCF. I always love that one. I do use that one every now and then. So, you know, there's a whole heap of different ones to go through. They would interest a lot of different people depending on what they are. There's a few mm -hmm. I'll point out. There is, um, one, let me have a look. I'll just try to find it. One that's actually quite good, it's called, and this is where majority of my ones come from, it's called Pure Profile. See, 11, 
$11.06 has been invested into my account from them and I've only started doing this the last few weeks. Basically it's just like questionnaires, like little um, random questions, multiple choice questions of have I been shopping lately, how was the experience, um, you know, I had one about I think a, a camping store, you know, did I purchase anything in there, what type of um, camping equipment was I looking at, you know, and they know, normally only take about five to ten minutes to do. So out of that five to ten minutes, they normally put about, you know, anywhere between 50 cents to $2.50 into your raise account. So I just do them in my spare time when I've got nothing else to do. Like I said, just in one month, it's been $11.06, so I won't say no to that. Uh, another one that's really good is the vouchers. Now, Ray's have started doing their own vouchers. And it means that they will invest 3% into your account using the vouchers. So, there's a few different partners on there. Let's have a look. There is, you know, Big W, Woolworths. Dan Murphy's, BWS, uh, and I believe, no, that's a, a, the moment, else, a Wish as well, Seller Masters. So basically 3% three, 3 there, which is quite handy because I shop at Woolworths anyway, and I haven't started doing this, but I want to start doing it. I shop at Woolworths. That means every time I spend $100, rather than pay with cash, and I know I would spend $100, there a week roughly i can buy a voucher it gets emailed to me i can scan it when i go to check out and use it and hang on to whatever's left if i don't spend the whole hundred but that basically means every hundred they'll give me three dollars so that can add up bws you know if you, you're getting a few drinks that's a way to get three percent back on on them it all adds up over the over the time now, as you can see on the home screen as well, under the Invest and Rewards tab, there is a Super tab. Rays have recently started doing superannuation accounts. So that's if you wanted to open a super account with them, you can do it and it'd be very similar to the type of any any other normal super account, but obviously with Rays. Um, I haven't done it. I'm happy with my super account I've got. Um, I did have a little look at the Rays fees for a super account. They were a little bit higher than mine, so I'm going to stick with mine at this stage. But this other side of it all, this raise investment into the shares, the roundups, the weekly um, setup payments that go into it, the one-off payments, that's been working really well for me. Um, I enjoy doing it. I don't miss the money. Uh, there is a $2.50 month fee that comes out of your bank account for using the app. But like I said, I could... You can see on my app here, the rewards is $11.06. So I can justify that $2.50 anyway, because I can get, you know, some rewards back from doing some vouchers or doing some questionnaires that pays for that $2.50. And if I, like I said earlier, if I was going to invest into the normal share market, it would cost me a minimum of $500, which not everyone's got $500 to start off to get invested. Um, so it's a lot easier to put five dollars in rather than 500 it's easier to find five five dollars anyway now like i said there's a few other things on the app that I'll, I'll leave it for you to have a little look through really recommend the app the reputable company they've been around in australia for about four years i believe they're actually traded on the asx as well um, they were originally called acorns by the way, uh, that was a parent company in the US, I believe. Um, Acorns are still doing in the US, but they decided to rename themselves Rays for the Australian market, and they've kept the, um, the American market under Acorns. Same idea, same type of app, really. Um, and like I said, if you did want to look into this app, they do have a referral program. So if you do sign up with the link below in the description that I'll leave, you will get a bonus $5 when you've set up the app. So free $5. So if that's something you're interested in, just click on the link below. 
Well guys, thanks for watching. I think I'll leave the video here, but like I said at the start of the video, what is Rays? How does it work? And can you make any money off it? I hope I've answered them questions for you. Um, you can make money off Rays, definitely. It's like any share markets, they can go up and down, but generally over time they do make money. Uh, myself, about $18 at the moment I'm sitting at, just on the market returns. Um, and then there is some other uh, reinvested dividends, some referrals, some raised rewards. So at the moment, definitely I've come out in front and it's a good saving tool because I enjoy having it separate from my bank account. So it doesn't mean I can touch it straight away, which at the end of the week, if I want to do something and I see the monies in my raise account, I'm less likely to kind of waste it. So something really good I think you guys should have a look into and Leave some comments below if you use it already and what you think or if you're looking at signing up and if you use the referral link and let me know how you go and what you think of the app. Okay, till next time guys. Thanks for watching.